You ever wish that you could go back in time and give advice to your younger self? Yeah, we all wish we could. Well, in this video, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to think back in time about my developer journey and give you 10 things that I wish I knew before becoming a developer. And I hope that this advice will help you. And this is going to be from my experience, but what advice would you give yourself? Comment below so that we can all learn from each other. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jesse. I'm a full stack developer. I've been coding for over 20 years. I create web development related tutorials on this channel, so I'd appreciate a sub if you're so inclined. The first thing that I would tell myself is just pick a language. You really can't go wrong with just about any language. It's not very often that a language will die. I mean, look at COBOL. COBOL is from the 50s and it's still in use. Also, after you've learned one language, it's much easier to pick another language. Most languages have similar fundamentals. They all have loops, switches, variables, and all of the other basic programming syntax. So just pick a language that interests you and start learning it. And now here's where things can go wrong. Don't try to learn multiple languages or technologies at the same time. It's much better for you to focus on and specialize in just one thing rather than learning a little bit about everything. So if you start learning React, but you don't know JavaScript, you're going to be so lost because React is based on JavaScript. Or if you are learning C++ and then something about Python catches your eye and you start learning that, and then the next new shiny thing comes out and you skip over to that, you'll never make it. The only constant in programming is change. I'm going to say that again. The only constant in programming is change. Someone's going to comment that below and get hundreds of likes. But it's true. There will always be the new shiny thing, a shiny new tech that you think is cool and you want to check it out. Well, that's fine if you have time, but especially when you're just starting out, don't let these things distract you. Stay focused on the language that you picked. Now that brings me to the next piece of advice. Focus on the fundamentals. Don't skip over or skim over the basics. You need to fully understand all of the fundamentals of a language before moving on to the advanced topics. If you don't understand the basics, you're going to really struggle with the rest. Don't take the fundamentals for granted. Now, a lot of times the fundamentals get skimmed over because you want to learn very quickly. That's my next piece of advice. You need to be patient. You might see or read examples of people learning a language and getting a job within just a few months. Well, these are the outliers. This is not typical. I get this question all of the time. Can I learn web development in three months? The answer is probably not. You need to take your time. If there's a concept that is taking you a while to grasp, that's okay. Take your time to fully understand it. Things will make so much more sense after you get it. On the other hand, if you just move on without understanding the concept, you'll set yourself back in other areas because they are all intertwined. So take your time. Now you might think that you need to learn fast because others around you are learning faster. You need to understand that everyone learns at different speeds and that's okay. Don't compare yourself with others. Doing this can lead to something called imposter syndrome, which just about every developer goes through at some point. You might think that because you're not learning as fast as you think you should, that you'll never be a great developer. And that's so far from the truth. Just keep learning, don't give up. And now because of all of this, you might be afraid to ask questions. You might feel like you'll look stupid if you ask questions, but how will you learn if you don't ask? And it's okay to say, I don't know something. Ask as many questions as you can. The more you ask, the more you'll learn. In fact, the next piece of advice is find a mentor and community. A mentor can be someone that you work with or someone that you know virtually, but just find someone that you can go to with questions or for advice. And then once you're further along in your developer journey, look for others who you can help and pay it forward. Keep the cycle going. And you can even help others now by sharing your journey with others. Even if this is day one for you, share what you learned, how you feel. There are many others who are on the exact same steps as you. Just seeing others who are going through a similar circumstance is encouraging. Well, how can you share your journey? Well, there are many platforms. The simplest would be Twitter. There is a great tech community on Twitter. So share with others where you're at in your journey. What are you learning? Tag me in your tweet and I'll retweet it. And you could find other communities on Discord. You could join the CodeStacker Discord server where you'll find others who are on the same journey as you. There's an invite link in the description if you want to join. Now, when you watch these day in the life of videos, they highlight all of these cool things that you may get at a Fang company, but this is not typical. You might also think that developers just sit down and write code all day. 
That's also not true. A developer is primarily a problem solver. A lot of times the problem is something that we've never seen before. So how do we solve these problems? Google. We Google. Let me tell you a little secret. I Google more than I write code. No one can know everything except Google. Google obviously knows everything. So get good at Googling. Learn how to learn. Learn how to solve whatever issues you're facing on your own. Figuring out how to fix something is the best way to learn. Now, of course, don't spend days on an issue, but put forth a concerted effort to solve it on your own. But at some point, you might have to ask for help if you need to. Now, there's a saying, fail fast, learn fast. The more you fail, then use your problem solving skills to fix it, the faster you'll learn. Now, it doesn't matter how small the problem is either. You might sit down to code a small application and you forget how a for loop works. That's okay. Google it. You don't need to memorize every part of a programming language. The more you use things, the more you'll remember. And that's also what the docs are for. If you forget something, go to the docs for that language or library and figure it out. You'll learn so much more that way. Now, another way to cement what you have learned is by building something. If you find yourself watching tutorial after tutorial and then still have no idea how to build something, you're not alone. At some point, you need to stop watching tutorials and just build something. When you get stuck on something, Google it. Watch a portion of a tutorial or comb through the docs to figure it out. You need to build projects to really understand how things work. And when I first started to learn how to code, the operating system on the computers at my school was DOS. I'm old in computer years. So I really got started in the terminal, and that's all that there was at the time. So I can see why a lot of people are scared of the terminal and since they're so used to GUI interfaces. But the terminal is not as scary as you might think it is. Get comfortable with it and devote time to just learning how things work in the terminal. It won't take you a long time to learn the basics. And now the last thing that I want to talk about is a question that I get asked a lot. Is it too late for me to learn how to code? And then they'll say that they're 25. The answer is always no. It's never too late. Anyone can code. It doesn't matter if you're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 plus. I'm 42 and no one is trying to get me to retire. I'm not getting passed over for jobs because of my age. The only question that you need to ask yourself is, can I learn? If you can learn, you can code. I really hope that this advice will help you on your journey to becoming a developer. Never stop learning and never give up. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this. Thank you.